windows one cross cross hand back i move Now we start with uh, uh, some explanation of what you've seen so far. There will still have more, but let's uh, give you a brief a rundown of the little uh, few techniques actions you've seen. We started with the back full grip waist grip, which you all you saw. Um, but before I go on, I want to remind us viewers, for those of us that are first timers uh, coming, logging into our channel, our videos for the very first time, I want to recommend you and I want to urge you, please subscribe, hit the bell and leave your comment. It will help us a lot. We appreciate that. Then for our regular viewers, thumbs up. Just keep on learning and learning is a long process. You learn and learn and learn it's it's worth it okay and we go back to the action now the action as you already see the back wrap from the waist we took the action but probably it might not really seem clear so we want to make the explanation so that you you to be clear anybody can learn it you just follow the sequence and then yeah you're done now the first was after this grip here, the next thing you do is take a step forward. This step forward gives you balance and destabilizes or disbalances whoever is grabbing you. And after that, take a punch around both sides of, we have the sides here. I think the kidney is located on one side and the other side. You struck both sides together. Bah! That, first of all, will discomfort him. After giving that discomfort one, the next thing is a, an elbow strike here and twist again, an elbow strike there. It's so simple. All right? We just take it one more time. There, take one, stick hand and then pow it's as simple as that it goes down okay now that was for the first one now the second waist grip he grabs and the next thing was you take another step forward too to gain your balance and to destabilize him then take a grab from the neck region here and throw using your shoulder and your hip. Yeah. As simple as that. You can decide to finish up with a punch or you can decide to walk away. Whichever one you choose. But as far as you deliver, that's it. Now let's take that one more time. The grabs. You take pop, pop. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Okay? Alright. Now let's take on the third one from that same back waist grip. Now the third one, you take a step forward, forward a bit, and stamp on the foot down, the back foot, stamp one, and cross the knee. If he dare resist, if he dare resist, you can ask him, he will tell you what has happened. If you dare resist, that knee is gone. So all he has to do is just to respond for his safety. So when he, when you take that stamp, stamp one, pop, and then crush. It's as simple as that. No stress. Okay? All right. Just take the sequence, learn the sequence very well, and practice it. But be careful because it's very, very devastating. So don't just do it carelessly. Um, do it when it's necessary. Okay? Now, the waist, like maybe you're wearing a belt or a trouser and somebody just grab you right from the, the waistline of your trouser. 
how do you free yourself from this point? You just take a step further, he will follow. Even if he tries to resist, you have taken that step to, uh, to destabilize him. And the next thing is you turn him, turn him with a strike. And turn and lock up the shoulder. Now you're, you're locking the shoulder and the elbow at the same time. He can tell you what he's feeling now. The, 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 the joint, the elbow joint and the shoulder joint are all in tension. Now what do you do next from here? Swing! And if he refuses to let go, what happens? He dislocates the elbow, I mean, the, yes, the elbow joint and the shoulder joint that are both in tension. They will all be dislocated. So now let's take that step one and then I have to be careful to help him down. If you're throwing him down, take your step forward. Sorry, not throwing him down because uh, it's only you that knows what you want to do, but he doesn't know what is we are waiting him. All you do is step forward a bit to destabilize him and take your own uh, comfortable position. Then strike here. One. While striking, it goes with a twisting. A head above to the back of his head. This position now locks the elbow, the shoulder, and the elbow joints. They are all in serious tension. Now what do you do? From here, he is at your mercy because swinging him is your is what you intend to. But you can equally want to do any other thing to him. But let's just do the swinging. Thing. Your aim is throwing, but also it might not be your last resort. You might also want to do something else. Maybe you don't want to throw, or you want to throw down at the end of it. But first, add something. You have so many things to do. You strike there to the ground. You can crush the knee there. Crush it. See that? You can decide to go here. You have so many things to do. While he's still locked. The shoulder and the elbow still locked here. Now from here, then you this is your final. You swing. And it's down. It's as simple as that. Aye! You want to come up yes he's, he's having he's having a, a hard one on the shoulder yes because that's as you so let's just take that once more you understand what we're saying pick there a little bit speed i go one and i strike and it's down okay now come up let me not do the falling let me not end it with the falling let me just end it with a strike there I go, you grab, I step one, two, and the next thing is I crush. Simple. We still have options. Like I said, we have so many options. So I'm still, I'm going to take one more option that you can choose from wherever, whichever one that is comfortable for you to do. Just step and take this. You can decide to drop here, strike either to the head, drop a punch there, drop a punch here. There, it's it's so so. There are so many options for you to do, to take, to choose from. So just given that, so you just learn. But I want to advise viewers: it is don't don't do this at all times, but when it's most necessary. Those techniques they are very devastating. You might see them as nothing, but they are very very devastating. Don't go playing with them. Use them when it's really really necessary that means when you are in danger then it calls for such techniques okay can we call it a day for today and we are come we are coming your way just stay tuned shortly we will be back with more exciting ones i hope you're having good time I hope you are learning learn it is good and it is going to help you sometime someday thank you very much Keep watching and stay tuned to our videos.